A mug is an easily fooled idiot getting mugged off is being con- Oh, hi, I've never heard that context before. Thanks, now I know. So I don't want to be a mug. <laughs> but I will steal somebody's Jaffa cakes if I have to. I do have a recipe for Jaffa cakes, but I don't have any marmalade, which is what I would want to fill them with, so I have to learn how to make marmalade. And then, and then I will uh, make them someday. All right, what if we, why doesn't it have instructions? Does it think I'm capable? What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna cut this string off here. Um, you know how like, do you get the dog food bags where you just pull the tab and it like pulls the whole string out? That's what I need to happen here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come, oh no, that's, that's me. That's my chest. All right, here we go, we're gonna look at that. Imagine being called a mug by a peasant. <laughs> Perfect, Daniel. That's exactly what we all deserve. Okay. Like I can sew. So you'd think I would know how to undo all the stitching. But I have a seam ripper, so I'm all like, uh. That's basically what it sounds like when I sew, uh. All right, let's try this end. Let's see if this end has any oh, the scissors. Oh, oh, no, not my toes. Everything is fine, nothing is ruined. 100% write a novel. We have many attractive talents as an author, good diction, appreciation of detail, irony, and a savage under the veneer of being nice. I am, you know it. Thank you. And this one's in first person, so you do get the interior voice. So, John, you can be, you can be my beta reader if you would like. But thank you so much for the encouragement. I do really need it. Um, it, was, it was a dream that I felt I, I dashed myself, you know, convinced myself I just was not sufficient um, and so if that's where it needs I mean if I need to be an editor for the rest of my life that's fine but I think I think I have a, a story to tell now let me tell you I don't shy oh I figured it out look 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 watch ha ha I opened the bag success um, I don't shy away from anything in novels, and I read a bunch of different kinds of novels. So there will be some spicy bits, there will be some sad bits, there will be all the bits. So if you like bits, read my novel. <laughs> You've got a book in you somewhere, Dr. Sitting the Extra Long Tongs. I feel that, John. But if it's in there, I, I thought I would be an author since I was 13, and I'm 45. Might take a minute is what I'm saying. So it's okay. It's cool. We'll get it done. Do I have a goal of pages per day, Daniel? No. Um, someone said bits. <laughs> John, thank you so much for the 200 biddies. I do appreciate that. Very sweet. Um, and not that I'm saying you did anything wrong, but I would like to remind y'all that I have a fundraiser and it's still going. So bits always appreciated, subs always appreciated. Of course, never necessary. You're allowed to come in here and hang with me as long as you like without paying anything. But if you have an extra dollar or pound or whatever, uh, you could toss it up to the Trevor Project if you want. I would appreciate it. So, always a delight though. Um, I don't have a, a goal of pages per day. I'm, my goal is I need to get it out and I'm going to do that in a way that feels right to me. So today I wrote for four and a half hours, three chapters. First chapter way too long, gotta to figure that out later, but I'm gonna barf it all out and then I'm gonna go back and edit because if I go back and edit while I'm writing, mm -mm. and I'm sure writers are like, you never do that because it throws you off and it screws you up and it absolutely would and I know that now. So, Red, let me know when I need to buy it. Okay, well I, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I am a publisher. I have self-pub, I haven't self-pub, not me. I have published Morgan's books on Amazon. I have, um, I have the, li the literary rights to my grandfather's works and he did write some really good novels. Uh, so I have posthumously um, published his works and I also have published a work uh, that my father wrote on how to build a very specific kind of house out of styrofoam and concrete. Uh, and he lives in one right now, that kind of house. So he wrote like a manual. So I've published stuff, uh, eBooks quite a bit. So I feel like y'all will know because I'll link it in my Twitch chat. <laughs> and everywhere um although john now that i've said that i drew the covers for all of momo's books and for my grandpa's books maybe i can give you a deal 
Maybe I, you can give me a friend price for a book cover. Something like that. John, thank Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. You're so sweet. Thank you, John. Love Crumpet is coming through. I really appreciate the donation to the Trevor Project. I said you didn't have to. You know, you heard that part, right? You don't have to. And I love the, the bits, but I do really appreciate the, the donation. Y'all are the best. I knew it. I love streaming with you guys. It's, it's just great to have, like when people are talking about your friends and stuff and I'm like, okay, I have these friends and these friends and then I have these friends and this is my Twitch family, that's y'all. Y'all are just great. If you ever come over, ooh, hey Theater Tech, if you ever come over to Houston, you let me know, I'll buy you coffee with bits. <laughs> I'll make you a coffee in my, and, and bougie ice and all the things. But I just, I appreciate you all. It's just a decoy to the fact you're a complete knob. <laughs> John, so silly. Theater tech, um, my sound overlays don't work again. I refreshed them again and they did not. Thanks for chatting offline. Oh, Daniel, of course. So um, Daniel and I were having a, a chat over Discord. Just, you know, chatting, friend stuff. If any of you need that, you're welcome. Join my Discord, send me a, a private message, talk about if you need to like vent or don't implicate me in any of your nefarious crimes. I didn't say red, did I? Send me a message. If you need somebody to talk to, I'll talk. I'm not gonna be super judgy. You know, I might be a little judgy. I try. I try to be an encourager, you know that. So, my pleasure, Daniel, and for anybody else, also, Daniel, though, has offered many times to, uh, to be another like sounding board or just connection. So hit up Military Man if you, if you want to chat and you don't want to talk to this blue-haired weirdo. You talk to the, the big bearded mailman. We've got all sorts. It is going good. Can I tell you, can I tell where you are? G'day. I'm assuming you're in Australia, but I don't know because you were... You were here for the new year. Just mediocre judgy. I slightly judge. Do you need hardcore judgment? I can judge the heck. No, I won't. I try not to. Daniel's not judgy at all. All right. At least he's never judged me, which is nice. Sadly, yes, you are. That's okay. You can be home for a little bit. Okay. Hang on. Before I... Okay, my wheat berries here. I, uh, admire my wheat berries. I'm going to make a literal note. That means a sticky note, of course, to figure out what's up with sound alerts because it's like, what, two weeks? And it gets overwhelming for me to like diagnose it when I have literally no idea why it's not working. But I'm going to because it is my responsibility as a streamer. You should have been in the UK. Why aren't you in the UK? Did they kick you out? Did you get in trouble? Wait. Wait, I have to go look up my new, my new lingo from Mr. Bluer. Were you a complete mug? <laughs> See, I did it. Yeah, John, I agree with what you said to Red. I mean, I, I will miss seeing him on stream, but how, how badass to be learning how to really fly. I don't mean really fly. Y'all all know how to really fly in DCS. <laughs> they did not kick you out. I was just checking. Like I said, no judgment. Just had to ask. I tell you, I was learning ballroom dance once a long time ago. Then I had foot surgery. Not good with ballroom dance. No good. Can't do it anymore. Uh, wasn't good anyway, but that's fine. I was learning it and I showed up and my instructor, like I had class times and stuff and my instructor wasn't there. And so I was uh, dancing with somebody else and he came back and we're waltzing, right? And he goes, yeah, sorry, I had to take a break for a while. And I go, were you in jail? And he goes, how did you know? And I was like, I don't know. He totally was in jail. Oh, man, for three days. Poor boy. Don't go to jail. We're the best imaginary pilots in the digital frontier. Exactly. Exactly, John. And I've told uh, Iris several times, if we're ever in a plane, that he knows how to fly, which I'm not really sure how we'd be in like an A-10 or anything. But if we are, and uh, something happens to the pilot, he's gonna get his butt up there and fly the plane. I have absolute confidence in him. All of you, any of you, I would, I mean, 
I've seen some of your clips. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna make some flour. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how this works. Okay, so let's go back over here. Try not to make y'all violently ill with the movement. All right, so this is the mill. Why don't we just straighten it up there? Here we go. So you put the wheat berries in here and they come out right here. And so I want them to come out into my, no, I don't. I thought I wanted to put them in my food processor because we're making American biscuits, not British biscuits. Uh, we can make those later in the week. Whatever you do, don't press the burnt, the burnt button. Exactly. God, can you imagine Irish and Momo up in the cockpit? And he's all like doing his thing. And she's all like, mm. <laughs> she'd get on the intercoms for sure. She'd be like, hey, my dad's real sus. He's up in the cockpit. She's been playing Among Us all day with her friends. Loudly. Um, okay, so because I do want to measure, I want to measure my ingredients. Imagine that. Is it working? Oh, I haven't turned it on yet, babe. We'll see, we're about to see. I have to get a bowl. Hey, I have this bowl, I'll just use this bowl. So it doesn't tell me, wait, I don't know, it could be loud. It is very close to the mic, but I can also step aside. We'll see. So what it says specifically is a cup of wheat berries makes a little more than a cup of flour. And it's all volumetric, so it gives it to me in mils and cups, not in grams, which I prefer, as you know. I'm gonna look on the bag and see if it tells me anything about grams. It says 48 grams is a quarter of a cup, but that's of wheat berries, not flour. So we gotta do this volumetrically, whatever. All right, so it says to store in a cool, dark place. I was gonna put it in a jar, but I think its bag is probably a reasonable place for it to be, don't you? So we'll just clip the bag put it somewhere I'm just talking you and me through this because I'm slightly terrified of what's gonna happen she'd be on comms like hey losers <laughs> exactly <laughs> John you're so right Momo would be the worst best on comms happy new year to you Daniel and to everyone else well said okay um hmm so All right, I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it and everything, you know. Oh, yep, I spilled some. I'm gonna have wheat berries all over the floor now. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way then. Nope, that's also not working. Okay, put it in the hopper. Put the wheat berries in the hopper. All right, there's one. God knows I will like find the one and slip on it <laughs> if I don't pay attention. Okay, where's my instructions? I'll give you a whole book of instructions but most of it's French and German. One cup yields between an eighth and a half, a quarter and a half of a cup of flour. Turn the knob, it says. Go to the library, it says literally. Your local library or health food store can provide more information on these grains. What does the contraption do? Good question. It takes, where did I throw it? I'll show you the wheat berry. All right, here we are. Can you focus? Is, it, is the focus on? This is a wheat berry. It's like a little nut. I bet if I chewed on it, I will crunch like that. I have to spit it out though, cause it's um unsanitary. Uh, I should have thought of that before I put it in my mouth. Whatever. You, I mean, you you can eat it and you probably won't get sick, but it's raw, and you're not supposed to eat raw wheat. You're supposed to cook it because it can have bacteria on it. So when we turn it on, it doesn't tell me. Does it tell me what? Okay, so this is my KitchenAid, which is a beast. I love it um, very much. Irish probably got it for me or I got it for myself when I was working. But either way, it's the, it's the nice one. And the motor will run this, will run the contraption, right? So I turn the motor on 
which I know how to do, but what it doesn't tell me is what to turn it on to. This is a 10 speed motor. Um, okay. So we have the knob in the front. It's all the way on the fine ground. So we're literally going to turn it on and, and see what happens. Oh, it's doing something. Is it loud? Can you hear crunching? Okay. Theater tech, you can ask. I'm going to come over here. And John has a new emote. I've been up in John's Discord checking it out. The new emotes and such. Oh yeah, sausage. I saw that one earlier, cracks me up. It's not that loud. Okay, thank you, Daniel, good to know. It's on one, so it shouldn't be. I mean, I guess if I get bored, I can turn it on too. It did not like that. Oh, that's because I'm backwards. That was zero, wasn't it? Let's try it this way. It'll be on two this way. Cool. So whether I grind this or not on stream again depends on how long it takes to grind a cup of flour. Did you get any Discord messages from you? No, I did not. So thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that your Discord got hacked. But no, I didn't get anything. So, no worries there. Hey, civil engineers, your dishwasher broke and hand washing sucks. Accurate. How broken is it? Okay, I'm gonna try and move it up to three. It's, it's okay so far, I don't know. I'm worried, I can't, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. You have no idea, oh, that sucks, I'm sorry. Hey, Doug, how are you? I'm sorry I missed your stream yesterday. Also, you have new feet, theater tech. Awesome. What happened to the old feet? I'm going to be up here. I'm trying to get away from new shoes. <laughs> you have new shoes. Good. That's also good. Yeah, this is definitely a slow process. So maybe not again on stream, but we got time. We're all right. Deb, how are you? How are things? Oh, hey, Flatspin, if you're around, my dear, can you please shout out, Deb? It's really fun. You need some new feet? <laughs> All right, I feel that. So in here, in the hopper, it looks like it's breathing because there's a screw. I can't probably can't hold it steady enough for y'all to see it. But there's a screw that's like, driving the grain, where am I going? Gra driving the grain down into the grinder. And so it looks like it's um, pulsing, I guess. The stand mixer, so Deb, I've had this thing forever. The grinder, the wheat, the, the wheat mill, or the grain mill, is my new toy from Christmas. I never get the mixer out because um, it just felt too loud, okay. Um, because I don't make big batches of things. I tend to make half batches of food, so it's never big enough to get this thing out, but I do love it, and I will pet it accordingly. <laughs> you need new feet and a new brain? Hey, new year, new brain. Although, as I think Daniel and I were saying, like, not a lot changes. Same, same old stuff, you know, which can be good or not great depending on where you are, but I'm okay with like, same old, same old, for now. Well, so I think this is going to be a nice um, texture. I have it on the finest, and it's the, the book is like, hey, it's not gonna be as fine as AP flour. I think it is. It's just got the whole, um, it's got the germ and the bran in it, which means it's actually got all the good stuff. It's healthier. Number one is that, do y'all have a code? That's fun. I wonder if I can get a, like a bowl that hangs over this to capture 
all of this because I could put it way down here and it would just like drift everywhere like snow. It's a reference from the show Scrubs. Oh. Oh, I see. Daniel number one and Daniel number two. I, I watched a couple episodes of Scrubs once. It was cute. That's all though. Terrible at watching things. I did convince the lady I know to try Wednesday though. She said she was most of the way through the first episode, but she keeps falling asleep because that's the kind of person she is. She just falls asleep when she watches stuff. So I feel like that's reasonable. Hello, George Hot Sauce. It's George's Hot Sauce, but I always call you George Hot Sauce. Hey. Oh, Dad, this is super good. I like Wednesday a lot. Hi, Kelly girl. Hi, Geek Flip. Welcome in. The Sauce Tribe is very welcome here. How are y'all? George, I saw you on earlier, but I thought you weren't doing food and drink. You were in a different category. And then I had to come get ready for this. What did y'all do? Oh, and by the way, it's Keller Girl. Yeah, I was gonna say, my glasses aren't strong right now. They're, my eyes got worse or better or something. Like my optometrist tried to convince me that they're getting better, but they're not. I can't see the screen real clearly without bending over and now the mixer's in the way. So I'm sorry if I misread anything or everything that y'all say in type. Thank you for the follow, Keller. Keller girl. Everyone should watch Glass Onion and Knives Out Murder Mystery. I didn't watch Knives Out though. Can I still watch it? I like a murder mystery. That will not be one of the elements of my novel. Unless it is, I don't know yet. Okay, the hopper. The hopper's getting emptier. Still a lot in there. It's all like, do not stick things into the hopper. I'm like, I'll just poke it. No, it's a terrible idea. Yeah, you can still watch it, it stands alone, okay. Good to know. Daniel's our, our taste tester for TV. <laughs> Glass onion. I think I saw it on your channel, one of your channels recommending. But like I say a lot, I have a hard time watching things. I have other things I'm doing instead. Um, so Raiders, uh, some of y'all are new and don't know me. So I go by Liz, I bake. I'm trying out my new um, grain mill that I got for Christmas. And, oh, um, do I have a mod to do a shout out for George, please? If not, any of y'all can do the non-video shout out, but if a mod does it, it plays the video. Gino, Gino Vitino, welcome. You got no life, you watch TV and Twitch. Cool, Daniel, it's your jam. You're looking at food, sports, and marble racer early? Okay, it was sports, the category that I saw you in, yes. Well, cool, thank you so much for coming over here. Are you, are you doing any food things this week, George? I'll be on the lookout. I'm always happy to rave you when I can see you on. So you let me know. If you wanna know my schedule, I have, um, thank you, Daniel, Thursday. Okay, perfect. That will be great. Ever since Cookie Manor stopped streaming, I need a Thursday target. Although Mama Wavelis is back. So she's on, I think, most weekdays, which is lovely, because I've missed her. I think a lot of people have missed her. I was saying something. Oh. Um, I should have a, an exclamation point schedule command. I should have, you know, you can do bang commands and it will tell you what command. I put a new one, oh, I put exclamation point gear on for the, for what I'm doing today, the grinder and the wheat berries. Ah, there it is. Thank you, George. It works. So for December, I did not do Fridays. It was the holiday season craziness, but I should and hope to be back to Tuesday through Friday. All right, lesson learned. This is slow. If I wanted it to go fast, I could probably turn it all the way up to 10 and you couldn't hear a thing I'm saying and it would go faster. So I'll do that off cam next time. We have a great community here between George and my normal people and anybody who pops in. I think food and drink. We just have a lovely time. So I'm glad you're all here. And soon this noisy part will be over and we can make food. 
It's very interesting, the texture too. I'm gonna show it to you, of course. So, um, commercial flour that you buy at the store has stabilizers in it and has bits taken out of it. So, I will only grind it right before I need to use it. And then I'll get all the good stuff, all the good nutrients that come from a really whole, like an entire whole grain which is not a pea flour. It's not even wheat white or wheat flour. Even the wheat flour from the shelf is not a whole grain because it's missing the fat. If it had the fat in it, though, you couldn't keep it on the shelf. It goes rancid. So that's the, the spiel with this stuff. You like marbles? Can't wait to play with the community. Oh, yay, Deb. <laughs> George, I hope so. I'm trying another biscuit recipe. I cannot make a biscuit that is whole. I've made biscuits on stream multiple times before cannot. So do you have a trick for me? Because I'll try it. I love to make homemade biscuits, but Irish prefers the ones from the freezer because I can't get the height and the flakiness on my homemade ones. I gotta fix that. Like drop biscuits, I'm gonna do rolled biscuits. I want them to be nicer. I'm gonna make um, sausage gravy for dinner. The kiddos are coming over, the big kiddos. So I wanted to make that for them, and so I'll have sausage gravy and biscuits. Butter or jelly? Uh, I, see, I always put butter and honey on the extras, but I don't know if they'll be extras today. But I want them, so they don't have to be, they, they're just gonna have gravy on them, which is like a fork food, right? So they don't have to be pulled together, but I would like them to be able to be tall and fluffy. All right. Look. See, it's almost, I can't get it. Can y'all see it? That's hard for me, sorry y'all. Um, but it's, the hopper's a lot emptier. I can see the worm, it's called a worm. The screw that pushes it through into the grinder is called a worm. How cool is that? I'm definitely gonna figure out how to find something to hold the bowl up to the grinder because I don't mind standing here for a while and doing it, but it's not my like preferred way of using my time. Biscuits and gravy, yes. Well, and we could, so Southern biscuits are like a thing thing. And even though I was raised in Texas, I was not raised with biscuits, so. I have different, like, I'm willing to, like, try something new. I don't need the, like, Grandma says kind of recipe. Where's Mom will have her hold it? Child, this is your job. She would require payment, I'm pretty sure, Daniel. Good idea. Do you remember when you were a kid and you had to do what your parents said? Apparently that doesn't work anymore. Or it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult. I don't know. All right, I think we're almost done. Oh, and to be specific, Mom was playing Among Us with her friends online, not the real life one. I mean, I feel like this is more than a cup of flour already, but we'll, um, we'll wait till all the grains through it. It's almost done. All right, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna tap it. How am I gonna tap it? Nope, that's not gonna work. So that, it, they sent you this brush. Me, they sent me this brush with it. And it's got this thing on the end, which actually is a screwdriver to undo the front of it, which is how you clean it out. So I guess we're going to clean it. You wanna watch? It's got a nice firm bristle. You see all that? build up there. I'm sure like it gets staticky and just sticks to everything it can. It's like sawdust. Okay, so I do need to clean it more, but I'm just going to take it off for now. 
Oh yeah. There's more of our normal angle. Geek Flip, thank you so much for the donation to the Trevor Project. Thank you so much. I will give you my normal spiel, even though I think I did a little bit of it before. I really appreciate everyone who helps support the Trevor Project. They specifically target LGBTQIA plus individuals who are at a higher risk for suicide. And suicide is a topic that is close to our family. Uh, and so we are very happy to find a charity that protects and or tries to help some of the very most vulnerable. So thank you. You have to be on PC to donate. I don't know. They won't let you on your phone. Dubbed you make drop biscuits. Your grandma taught you great grandma moonshine. Woo. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not doing alcohol this year, so I, I, I only have an academic curiosity about the moonshine. Daniel, you hated biscuits and gravy, but your first introduction was in basic. It was probably awful. Yeah. You can't see it on your phone, Daniel. Thank you for the thought. No worries. Absolutely no worries at all. Okay. I'm going to put the mill down over here. I feel like this is a lot more than a cup. Maybe I am just completely wrong. But I'm going to move the KitchenAid back out to the pantry. It's basically a glorified motor at this point. Hey, Maruf, your stream is amazing. Keep up the good work. Hope you reach your goals. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That is so kind of you. We will get there. We will get there whenever is the right time to get to the goal. So I'm happy with that. And I'm that's what I didn't want to do is drop it on the tile, but everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> we will get to our, our goals and support our friends and all is well. Everything in time. Right. Okay. Now I'm supposed to put flour in the food processor. Is this, this angle is going to drive me a little crazy, hey? I just like things to be square. You know what? No, I'm just going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to get a little crazy about it and I'm not going to do that. Literally grinding Twitch streams, John. 18 plus. <laughs> I mean, literally. Subbed your YouTube. Oh, uh, do you have a Twitch as well? Can we shout you out? And what, what YouTube content do you make, Murph? I would love to hear more. Hmm. I don't really want to like sift it because I don't want to miss any of the good stuff. So I guess I'll spoon it into my volumetric measure, but then we're going to totally weigh it and see how much it weighs so I can do it by weight next time. Because the best measuring tool, well, not really, not for leavening, but for almost everything, the best measuring tool is my scale. Ah, <laughs> Gaddafi, I didn't even see what he said. I wasn't even paying attention yet. Aw, poor Gaddafi. Remind him of the timeout. <laughs> I can hear him on Discord. I removed it. Y'all must be having a lot of fun. If y'all want to go see what the boys are up to, please hit exclamation point discord. It will take you to Irish's discord in which I have three channels because I get overwhelmed by discord channels. So I only have three on my own in his server, but there are voice channels where you can probably pop in and see what they're doing. Irish is bullying it off a pot of this. <laughs> oh man. Hovering over ban. Yeah, exactly. Um, the funny thing is, and y'all, some of y'all know this from, if you're on the, ch in the channel with them, is Irish will tell Momo, Gaddafi's bullying me. And he'll put the headset on her and she'll be like, Gaddafi, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. And we're like, oh, too much. Like, no, she's very violent. And I, I don't know. I mean, I get it in some ways, but, but dang. So, um, so there's that. Okay. 
There we go. 124 grams. Okay. So, ooh, she just screamed at her daddy. Mm, just listening to the drama. Gaddafi. Look at her dad as he wakes up and chooses violence. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue. Irish is very chill, actually. I mean, until you get him into Discord with you guys or on COD, but. <laughs> what drama? It is, she is a drama llama. Like, she's just screaming. And he's like, I, I do not put up with her talking to him like that. And he does not either, thank God, so. Hey, cool, it turns out, okay, so I was gonna say, a cup of this is about 125 grams, and a cup of baby flour is usually 120, and a cup of, no, a cup of whole wheat flour is usually 120, and a cup of AP is 140, or that's what I used to use, but since then, I've not always found that to be true, so I'm just gonna say 125 grams per cup, and we'll go with his first measure. And it'll be written in stone, or in the book anyway. Which means, turns out my recipe needs two cups. So we'll see if we have enough, or if I have to add. I'll just add normal AP if that's the case. Because we're not doing all that grinding again. But this smells different. Irish is spraying his children with water. He is. He has the squirt bottle for the cats, and he sprayed it with her when she was getting too loud. On, on Discord, yelling at her friends, or with her friends. Have you guys ever smelled fresh hay in a barn? I'm sure a lot of you have, right? To me, this has just that tiniest element of fresh hay in the barn, like that freshy, grainy kind of smell to it. All right, this is 200 grams, so I'm just gonna add 20, um, 40 of AP from the canister. And then, um, and then we'll bake. Define fresh. like. You know fresh hay in a barn? Where you can smell like the pine wood of the barn in the sun and then you can smell like the fresh cut hay and it's not quite grassy anymore because it's not grass but it still has that like cereal, cereal grain. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Irish's morning alarm. Is Comcast employees sobbing? So ever since he stopped streaming, we have not seen the issue but that's also because the issue happened during his stream time and rarely during mine, so. Either they fixed it or we just don't notice anymore, but we did have a long thing with Comcast. Granny like the feed store. Yes, Deb, exactly. Like, but like when they get the fresh stuff in and it's not like the dank stuff, which I know it's generally not, like they're usually pretty good about it, but yes. Biggest smells you get from farms is not the best. Daniel, what are you talking about? I mean, the poo is right, flat's right. Hay and horse poo without the poo. Like that's the earthy, right? And you don't like, I know what, like the wet soil, like there's that, but there's just that grain. Pig farms smell the worst. I have not been to a pig farm. I don't know, but I'm going to take your word for that and not go there. Not go to a pig farm. Also, I've seen, what movie is that? Snatch? Is that the one with the pig farm? Mentioned, not, uh, not executed, just mentioned. Oh, it's their urine. What Flat said. I get you, the poo is not great, but it smells fine if everyone's done their chores. True, Deb. Did you grow up on a farm? Or have you had that, some of that experience before? Both of my grandparents had farms. Well, one of them had a, hmm. One of them grew stuff and one of them bred stuff. Only he stopped, they had goat farm. My, my grandparents whose land now has cargo tainers on it had a goat farm for a while and then um, my grandpa, my other grandpa, still grows alfalfa. And so they did really different things. Although he did raise chickens for a long time. And my dad, when he was dating my mom before they got married, spent a summer at my grandpa's chicken farm packaging eggs, apparently. Apparently he was really good at just packaging eggs and that's a thing. So it's a good story. I was talking making me excited for biscuits and sausages. Sausage. Love that new emote, it's so funny. Like the mouth and, or the, I guess, lack of mouth, or the lack of nose. The weird mouth and then the sausage on the face. All right. All right, we need stuff. We need other stuff in here. 
and other stuff in here. Sour cream, buttermilk. I'm using soured half and half because it sounds delicious. So I need my lemon juice, my half and half, my sour cream. I need my stick of butter. And then I think just leavening. He raised a little rascal in buckwheat and spanky. Alfalfa, it's a, it's a plant. That's all I know about it, honestly. He's been raised, he's been growing it for ages and truly, did I ever hydrate when I said I would? I'm sorry. I've never seen it flat spin, but I, I did finally get it. Um, Alfalfa is just this green stuff. I don't even know what they use it for. I assume they sell it for feed. Buttermilk, sour cream, baking powder, baking soda, salt. Yep, okay. I got a big pile of wine for Irish at Costco today. I get in the boxes. It was on when you were kids. We were kids, yes. I didn't watch anything when I was, when I was a kid. I really, I did, I guess. Just not quite all the, all the same stuff. Okay, tablespoon of powder. Alfalfa was in It's a Wonderful Life. I've seen that one several times. Irish made me watch it. Although we don't watch it anymore. I don't know why. Quarter teaspoon of soda. Ooh, okay. The funny thing is, not the funny thing, the interesting thing about the alfalfa is it has to be pollinated. And I don't know if y'all have been interested in this kind of thing, you may have seen that um, there are these massive 18 wheelers that go around California pollinating almonds. Uh, they're bees, their trailer's full of bees. And my grandpa in his barn has little tiny trailers full of bees and there are leaf cutter bees is what they're called. And so he has bees to populate, pollinate, not populate, that's different. Pollinate his alfalfa. So it's a whole thing. Yeah, I do have to plug it in before it will work. There's that. This is the bee's knees. Oh, flat spin. Love it. Okay, let us plug in. Ooh, let's not break anything yet. And pulse this. We will be putting um, butter in there in a minute. I need to put it back in the fridge. It's supposed to stay super, super cold. And then we'll get our liquids in this bowl. Half a cup of buttermilk. I mean, all the ingredients are good, so it should be good, right? So as long as they're not murder hornets, exactly, right? Uh, two tablespoons is 30 grams, so eight tablespoons, yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna do 240, eight tablespoons is 240 grams. Am I mathing right? Eight times three is 24. You like bumblebees? I like bumblebees. You talking about the transformer or the insect? I want to raise bees and Irish one Christmas, well, Christmas of 2019. Got me all the gear to do bees. And then the pandemic hit and we couldn't go out to my parents' land, which is where I was going to set up bee boxes. So now I have no bees. You're allergic to bees. Oh no, Daniel. I'm so sorry. I've been stung by bees a couple times. Definitely not allergic. Wasps a couple times too. They're just jerks. They are pollinators, but they're also jerks. Half a cup of sour cream. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. It's just like it's almost at half a cup and it's not nearly the weight that it said it was. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do volume on this one or not. Wasps are jerking useless. They can be pollinators. Some wasps are pollinators and I'm in favor of pollination because plants deserve to not die out. But at the same time, oh yeah, no, that's way more than half. Okay, I mathed it wrong or they did something, but that's fine. We'll Everything is fine. Um, but yeah, wasps are jerks. 
What almost kills you as a kid? Oh my gosh, Daniel. Same with mosquitoes are not pollinators, they're jerks, just the mamas. I don't know what palmetto bugs are. Okay, let's call that half a cup of sour cream. And then we'll put in, gosh, have to open it first. Oh, flying cockroaches? Oh yeah, we got those. They're jerks too, yeah. Well, but they don't, they don't sting me. I don't think they can sting. So cockroaches, I mean, I will kill them, but I do not, I'm not as against them as for instance, mama cockroach or mama mosquitoes. All right, half a cup of half and half. Let's put in a tablespoon of our, no, not roaches sting. I'm so sorry. Hey, Chef Rob, I'm sorry. We we're talking about bugs. Um, you guys, welcome, Chef Rob and friends. Come on in. Thank you for the raid and joining us. Milford Oasis, welcome. Big Dave, how are you? Good to see you again. Um, totally Kravitz, welcome as well. We're making cricket flour, not yet. Not yet, I don't know if it's oily enough. If it's too oily, my mill can't handle it. So, but let me show you Raiders, after I pour my lemon juice, what we were doing and what we're working on. I got this for Christmas. It is um, a KitchenAid grain mill. And I just milled my own flour for the first time ever. And now we're gonna make biscuits out of it. So American biscuits, um, not British biscuits. So it took a long time to mill the flour. <laughs> Longer than I would ever do on stream again, but um, the flour is in here. Let's scoot you over. So what you can't really see from here, but it's true, is that it has like the the bran coat and the germ and everything in it. So it's it's like full of really good goodness, which AP flour and even um, whole wheat flour are not going to have. So there's some leavening in there as well. But that's our our homemade flour. So close. Yes, we are, Dave. Thank you so much. Uh, and good part to you. So I appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment on the hair, Chef Rob. It was it was curlier and, and done more, but you know, get in the kitchen, things happen. But thank you, I appreciate it. I'm enjoying the haircut, although you're gonna see me tucking it back because it's not up in a bun like it was when it was long, so. Yes, buttermilk biscuits, yummy, yummy. We're getting there. So I'm not there, it's not buttermilk, but it's, it's half and half with lemon juice in it, which is as close as I get because I'm, I'm gonna use what I have and what I like. Hissing cockroaches, some of them do. Madagascar hissing cockroaches hiss. But most of the other, I mean the ones here don't hiss. We were just talking about stinging bugs. Uh, Chef Rob, what did y'all make? Can we get a shout out flat, my dear? Who, who are my mods? Flat spin and Irish and Ruffles who no longer is here. Does anybody want to be a mod? Just don't ban hammer normal people. Irish already did it to Qaddafi earlier, so <laughs> if anybody if anybody wants to mod, and, and if you already mod and it's too much, don't say yes. But if anybody wants to have the ban hammer slash shout out job, I would love for one of you to. Uh, you're shouting out Chef Rob Creations, please. You're not slacking flat. I am. It's my it's my channel. I should really. I could do it. I just move a bunch of ingredients out of the way. John, absolutely, you would be, are welcome to be a mod. Thank you. If I can do it with a mouse, I can do it. If I have to type, I... Wait, I don't want to time you out. Well, how am I doing this? Can I just... No, I have to type, don't I? Oh, I don't want to time you out. No, oh, I don't want to block you. <laughs> it got complicated. Thank you, Flat. Oh, now video shout outs aren't working? Okay, well, if y'all are around to watch a stream earlier than mine, Chef Rob is a great one to watch. He's British. <laughs> Slash mod, okay. So um, it looks like my um, shout outs are not working as well as my stream alerts are not working. Where's my sticky note? All right, I'm, I have some some jobs to do when I get off stream before I start again tomorrow. So, um, shout outs. 
I will get my stuff working. I thought I had gotten it fixed and I have not, so I'm sorry. Thank you for the follow, Tolly Kravitz. Appreciate that. Okay, who am I? Modding John. And you vote for Daniel and John. I, I second that. You have a sword. Dangerous. <laughs> All right, Daniel, you should have it too. Did it go? I guess say something and I'll see if you have a big green sword, huh? Thank you, Big Dave, as always, for the advice as well. Excalibur. You guys watched that movie? Who was in that movie? It's kind of old. So some of us should know it. So really good. Yes, you do. Hooray. Good. Thank you for my to my new mods for volunteering. I appreciate that so much. By the power of Grayskull. I have the power. Let's put away the cold stuff. Did I already put the half and half away? That was smart. It's because even my subconscious brain knows that that's going to go in coffee and I need that for life. Okay. What else do we need in here? Buttermilk, sour cream. Yes. Ah, butter. Butter's going to go. My angles are all off today, y'all. I'll fix them, I promise. Thundercats. They did. Thunder, thunder. I don't remember how many times you say, Thundercats. I, I obviously have not seen it in a while. You just saw Thundercats? It was fabulous. Did they make a, a new one? Or did you just rewatch? I feel like they are making a lot of that old stuff. I know that some of us have had some conversation about uh, Warhammer 40K movie and if it's going to be awful or not. So that should be interesting, right? I literally, I had a dream that something happened. Um, I played witches and for some reason in my dream, I, I left them with my ex-husband <laughs> when I left. And, uh, but I, I dreamed I got them back and I was like, oh, look at my paint job, it's really cool. And then I like realized it wasn't. Oh, uh, there you go. Cooking class, hello, say hi to Hammer. Okay, new mod, shout out Hammer, please. The cooking class pour. <laughs> You're thinking of cats, oh, that's different. Different than Thundercats, for sure. Gonna get the Irish, the rat tail. <laughs> no, no, please don't, please don't. Like, I love him to death, but, see, this is, I've told you so many times before, right, that Irish has said that if I shave my head, he'd divorce me. So I'm feeling like maybe now I can reciprocate and say if he ever has a rat tail, I will not divorce him, but I, I would probably threaten it for half a second. I can't deal with this, I'm leaving. Probably not. No, no Irish. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, it is super, the shout outs are super broken. All right, I'm gonna try and reload that layer again. Oh. Snow's not even working, is it? Well, I'll turn that off. How many things are working on here? Oh my goodness. Hopefully mute was working. Don't go full Sinead O'Connor now. If I shave my head, it would be number two. Yep, nope, not working. Everything's fine, except it's not. Stinking. Like I rebooted the machine over the holiday. I, oh, what is going on? I'm just silently judging you indefinitely, maybe. Maybe so. I actually likes my haircut now, and this is like, it's decently short, so I'm good with that because sometimes I get tired of having hair. Being a mammal is hard, you guys. I already broke it. Maybe. Nah. All right, I'm just chopping the butter up into little, little bitties. No, I said bitties again. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, flat spin, you love what? I should have asked. I just made an assumption. I'm trying to assume less. Because I'm wrong a lot of the time. 
All right. Oh, you love my dude. Thank you so much. I'm glad. It's because it's asymmetrical. And so I thought, oh, that's kind of going to be, is it, people are going to think it's super weird. But everybody's been super supportive. The funny thing is, then I don't like, I don't like symmetrical earrings anyway. And I have three um, piercings on this side, just down here. And then I have two over here. It just means I only wear two earrings and they're both here. <laughs> so I can be like that. I can be like, I'm going to play with my style. Hi, babe. Does it work? No. It doesn't wait, work? Wait, what? What works? See, I made an assumption. The mill? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure it works. What do you think I was talking about? Shout outs and sound alerts. Uh, what they the don't work. What the hell is a rat tail? When you grow it down here and then you braid it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I see flat spin. You're just jellies of hair. A wild iris is just crazy. All right, I'm going to pulse the food processor for Why a minute. Why would you say I get it flat, you're jealous of hair? That's rude. He just said. I'm jealous of anyone oh, with hair. Like I'm literally just, he thought I was being like mean. No, I'm not being hateful. Really Is it loud, you guys? I'm done anyway. Chef Rob, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that totally. You know, always feel free to raid and run. I, you know, I get it. Um, but thank you so much for raiding and bringing your friends in here. Always good to see you. I totally miss what you cooked if anybody said it. So I'm gonna go scroll back because I do want to know. Irish is being a bully. Irish is making sure I'm not bullying you, Flat. So that's good. I don't bully Flat Spin. Oh, Irish doesn't bully Flat Spin, so we know he bullies other people. I only bully Qaddafi. Only Qaddafi. I gotcha. Just, but it's a, it's a bully. It's a mutual. It's a mutual bully, yeah. I feel like that may be true. What's the other Sausage gravy with biscuits. Oh, shit, the kids are coming. The kids are coming. It's okay. It'll be okay. At six? Uh, yes, between 6 and 6.30 is what I said. Is Wild Irish after a few margaritas and manicure feeling a little sassy? Yes. I put it right in that chair right there for her. It's right there. While listening to Shania Twain. I feel like she makes a lot of um, straight men pretty sassy feeling. I've seen them sing at bars. Not bars. Happy hours. Irish bullies you? Uh-oh. See? Hammer nose. Hammer knows about Shania. All right, let me put dirty stuff away. Let's start the oven so that when we get to this point, we can bake our biscuits. Only Qaddafi puss. I hear you flat, maybe. How he shows his love. Joe, that's not love. That's what we teach our children. You never ever can tell them, oh, he's pulling your hair and being hateful to you because he likes you. No, that's toxic. That's not okay. You set your boundaries. You tell Irish, my boundaries are set. <laughs> John knows it too. Oh boy. There you go. All right. Irish is a good guy. Irish is a good guy. I do know. But I also know that sometimes he does show his affection in a way that looks really weird to me. Because if you like make fun of me, I will just cry. Yeah. Except I'm learning how to not do it with him. But if any of y'all did, I probably would just cry. <laughs> All right, everybody's in there with the lyrics. Well done, well done. Okay. This is our sour cream half and half and lemon juice mixture. Because I don't do buttermilk because I'm lazy. I love that y'all are singing. All right, so according to the recipe, we're gonna mix this in like normal, but then we're gonna roll it out, fold it to laminate, and then cut. So we'll, we'll go for it, we'll try it. This feels like a lot of dry to the wet. I hope the proportions work. If not, we'll figure it out. All right. And if you want to see hilarious pictures of people eating flour, please come to Discord and look in the general chat, not the best chat, that's mine. But we were having a good time in Irish's main chat channel too. Did anyone see the Great War Zone clip when someone created a boy band over proximity chat? No, I did not. But probably somebody here did. Sounds like something we would have in our 
a little friend group. Okay, this is this is thick. Which it needs to be so I can roll it out, so that's fine. It's just um just I'm pretty thick. Shania is the patron saint of cougars in their 40s who get thrown out of Applebee's and steal their embarrassed husband's fries. Oh my goodness. That's very specific, John. I know you have these these characters though, right? Cougars in their 40s. Is that how old cougars are? I feel old. I feel judged. <laughs> Accurate though, no doubt. No doubt. Kate Beckinsale? Isn't she um, the one from the vampire movie? You know what I'm talking about? She wears the leather thing? What am I talking about? Yep, nope, maybe. Underworld? Yeah, and then um, what's his face How is the hunter? Being a cougar is a mindset. <laughs> cool, so I'm not one, so that's a relief. Uh, I need the spoon, that's what I need. Does your automatic frown on links? Not at all, Hammer. You go ahead and link whatever you want. You can't be racist in here because the mod will stop you and so will I, so. Um, and I ask you not to be political. Other than that, do what you want. Come in and have fun. Hang out in my kitchen. I don't care. I will, I, like John said, I will, I will slightly judge you indefinitely, <laughs> I think. I don't know what you said, John. I already forgot. Van Helsing, Van Helsing. Yes, that's right. That's exactly right. Thank you, Flatspin. I'm too low, Cougar. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like a house cat. No, budge. I forgot that my crumb still doesn't work. I don't, I need, okay, fix crumb. Goes on the sticky note, fix crumb. Now my pen doesn't work. <laughs> All right, I have a lot to do tomorrow before stream. Gotta get my big girl, big IT girl pants back on. Took them off a while ago. Running around with no IT pants on. What's going on? Something about Applebee's and Irish singing to Shania. Fantastic. Extra for life. John, you really need to take flat spin to Applebee's. Look at him. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to flower it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the silicone mat for the bottom, because I don't wanna do it on the counter necessarily, but I think also if I use a little bit of flour on the silicone mat, I can get away with less flour. So actually, I will continuously have to have some AP flour on hand for this, because I'm not gonna grind. I mean, I guess I could. So once it's ground, you have to use it within a couple days or store it in the fridge, and not, um, otherwise it'll go rancid. So. With the, with the wheat berries, it's, it's gonna take some adjusting as to how I actually use it. But use it I will, and I'm super excited about it. Slap on a leopard print tube skirt. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with cargo shorts, you know that, John. I love cargo shorts. I need to buy myself some cargo shorts because I don't have any. Okay. With black socks, okay, okay, time out. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Dude, socks with sandals. Like everybody, like the, the socks and Birkenstock style thing, everybody is doing it. Like the young kids, and I, I think like maybe they just missed the memo that it's awful, and they also brought mom jeans back, which are awful, so can you not, please? Why, why, why did we need to do that? Bell bottoms were bad, but mom jeans are worse. Y'all. Cargo shorts are a mindset. See, there you go. I have a cargo shorts mindset. I'm like, can I put everything in my pants? Let's do it. Is that after Bourbon Street Steak? Before they quit, quit playing hard to get. I love it. Jorts. Tube socks, flip flops. Nice. Do you have fat pants? Everybody's got fat pants. I hope you have fat pants. Mom jeans are awful. Thank you, John. Socks and sandals just up. I agree. Hi, A U Fi. I forget B Fi. I forget how to say your name, sweetheart. How do you say? Bell bottoms are sexy. Oh, hammer. Oh, hammer. I don't know. 
Nothing but cargo pants. You like pockets. Of course, flats fin. See, the great thing about yoga pants uh, for me is all my yoga pants have pockets in them. Or these don't, but I sewed one in because I was going to have pockets in it. So I can carry my wallet and my phone and my pants all the time. And then I don't have to bring anything else with me if I don't want to. And I can still be a functional human. So pockets. Unless you're in the new U.S. Navy, then they weren't ever. Bell bottoms weren't ever sexy in the Navy. I just, I don't, I don't like them and I, I don't have a good reason for it. Let's see how thick we have to. Why, why don't you just like tell me how thick to roll it out? I should have looked at this recipe better. I'm not gonna roll something out to like little rectangle dimensions. That's a pain. And I'm lazy, and you know it. Well, it's definitely not gonna be six of an inch. Let's get our three eighths inch bumpers out. Half inch? Yeah, this isn't the closest to half, I agree. Wait, is it, do I have half? Is six millimeter? Yeah, six millimeters quarter. Yeah, three eighths it's gonna be. I, I don't have a half inch. I have said, I've written before, right? To print some, 3D print some half inch bumpers for this. Why is the current fashion address like a 7-Eleven clerk from the 90s? Yes. Because the 90s were great, except for all the things uh, that wasn't great about them, I guess. You know. Terrible. Terrible flat spin. Agree. Um, the funny thing is, like with the fashions coming around again, hey, Mercury, how are you? I'm, the 80s were not the best either, though, flat. They were not. Big hair mini skirts. Nope. And like electric blue eyeshadow, no, not not good. Why why have we not come back from the Victorian era? Because um, I have a bunch of steampunk stuff I could just throw on and look amazing, but it's not cool yet. Like, wh why why is it taking so long? You like your woman's trashy, clearly. <laughs> just teasing. Tell the missus I think she's amazing. Um, Mercury, camping was great, thank you. We did, we got everything done. I felt really good to uh, be able to help my parents in that way, just because, I mean, warm bodies that can pick up pipes and move them and push on things is useful. I got a good workout and got super dirty and did good stuff, so. And we accomplished what we wanted without having to pay somebody on a flatbed to come to come moving for us. We, we DIY'd it, which is uh, how we roll as a family. So I think it's super great. I don't own a tent. I probably should get a tent at some point. But the kid's like, you hate camping. And I'm like, I do. Except I would go camping on my grandparents' land, you know, especially now that my parents are making a cabin there. That kind of thing, a little off-grid cabin. Nothing, nothing fancy. Big Dave, you list some of the classy old fashioned clothes, obviously made slightly more comfortable and more durable, yes, for sure. But yeah, wouldn't that be great? I mean, gents and ladies alike had some really great styles going back like quite a ways. And so, I mean, I personally, and I can, you can call me as weird as you like, but I would love to see some uh, gender swapping trends with Victorian clothing. I think it would look amazing. <laughs> the 1700s. John, stop it. Mercury and arsenic in the makeup. He has a look very nice, very pale. Um, some things should not come back. But of the things that could, I mean, clothing. Okay, so if you're going to talk to me about corsets, I will talk to you back about corsets because a lot of people think erroneously that they were uh, there to make uh, women weaker and that they serve certain purposes that were against function and then there was a woman who lived for a year in a corset and lived the, in a house in a, of the era and wore it correctly which is not how we do it now to like crush our bones and not breathe but it was interesting because she said it's basically like if you go work out and you have a belt that's what your corset's supposed to be so do it right do it the way they did it and it's functional fashion you stole a couple, gave one to a dog. Now it's a pup tent. Flatsman. 
Hey, Darklet, how are you? Good to see you. So, Big Dave, do you have a do you have a preference for what particular types of clothing you would like to see come back? Flat spin, you like corsets, or you were going to argue about corsets. Either way, good stuff, right? All right, I'm going to wash my hands a little bit because it's it's a bit it's a bit sticky. Parachute pants. I have nothing against parachute pants. Maybe the sound, but I also like corduroy and they make a sound too. So it's not, you know, suits, jackets, and top hats. I love that, Big Dave. That sounds awesome. Yes. Do you like a vest though? Crisscross where you wear it goes backwards. Fine, Daniel. Cool. Sounds good. You know, there are an, um, I don't know enough about this. I would like to know more, but there are clothes that are made specifically for sensory people. Um, and so autism would be one of the groups of people that are targeted by those kind of clothing where the tags are not, you know, scratchy and you can wear them inside out because they're like smooth and comfortable inside and outside, like that kind of thing. I'm all in for that. Like if you need to wear it backwards, that's fine. My sister was like, why is my shirt so long in the front? She had it on backwards. The neckline was identical. It was the hemline on her, like it was an oversized shirt that was not. And so it was perfectly fine. If you need a little bit more coverage down in the front, you wear it that way. If you don't flip it around, easy peasy. Double breasted suits, very nice waistcoats. Yes. Yes. You have so many misconceptions about the past. I've been listening to podcasts lately called Uncanceled History. Generally, learn things you had no idea about. John, absolutely true. I continue to do so. I keep thinking I know what things are, and they're not. Like the Russian witches from Second World War. I mean, damn. Amazing. But if I say that, how many of you know what I'm talking about, right? So, leather loincloths, also fine flat spin. If you need to go there, does it have a pocket, is what I need to know. I can get behind a loincloth if it's got pockets. <laughs> Zoot suit. Okay, I don't know, any of the suits, like you get funky lapels, but other than that, like, oh, you know, it's kind of a suit. Sorry for being half here in chat doing things happening in Rob's room. No, 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 Big Dave, you do not need to ever apologize. I appreciate you being here in whatever capacity you can. If I call on you, it's only because I want you to be heard and seen and felt and loved and all the things. That sounded weird. I meant it in the not weird way, I'm sorry. Elizabeth Bathory, what did you read about Elizabeth Bathory? Because she was the um, blood one. She has another name. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. I can hear it in my mind even though I can't hear the stinking sound alert on my machine. Okay, we're gonna move back down to quarter inch because I, ugh. I am second guessing myself a lot. Let's see if we can let's see if we can cut these out. We'll give it a go. We'll see what we get. <laughs> we'll see if they come off. The blood one. Like what but doesn't she have another name? Oh, is it just Lady Bathory maybe I'm thinking of? Big Dave, thank you for not taking it in that strange way. I appreciate that. I know some of the things that come out of my mouth and then I hear them, I'm like, oh, no, that was not. Mm -mm. Oh, some of the things that come out of my mouth, I absolutely do mean in the weird way because that's me. But I appreciate that you knew <laughs> what I was talking about. Okay. Who is the most senior mod on this channel could do with, with dropping them a DM? Um, well, Irish is the, is the mod who's been around for, since the beginning of my channel, but Flatspin would be my other one. So, um you could drop them both DMs and see what's up, and I would, I recommend both of them. They are lovely humans. Big inspiration for Dracula, yes, yes. Was it, was it virgin's blood or is that just part of the myth? There's a lot of, um, Um, a lot of stuff that you hear about things like Marquita Saad and uh, Lady Bathory that 
are, are like literally not related to them, but it's easy to go from here to there. And so my trivia brain is just like pulling up information. Like maybe this, maybe that, maybe not. You're just today years old as a mod, yes. Although, I mean, Daniel knows stuff and he has his own, he's a streamer, so wouldn't be negative necessarily to, yeah. She's a monster for sure, it wasn't about blood but suffering. Ah, yes. Well, uh, well, how do you feel about Machiavelli? Anybody have feelings about Machiavelli? You don't know anything. Fair. <laughs> I feel it. I feel that too. Sometimes about everything. I swear, imposter syndrome, right? What if they find out I don't know anything? <laughs> Flaspin. You always. I never know if you're being serious with that. All right. So one of the things that's gonna be really good about these biscuits, now that we can talk about the, oh, other than them sticking to my rolling pin, um, is that I can see the big chunks of butter. And so the idea with big chunks of butter, big-ish, not huge, uh, chunks of butter is uh, that it will steam when it gets into the oven and that will make the floof, it will make the layers. You know nothing, see nothing, did not even get up this morning. Thank you, Big Dave. I hope that he was paying attention. I know he's on Discord too, so. I can yell at him if I need to. All right, so let's see if I can these. I think I can make three biscuits. They're gonna touch on here. That's gonna be fine though, because you get the like softer edges. When that happens, I'm fine with that. All right, come on. There we go, got one off. So if we can make this last one into some kind of cohesive biscuity thingy, then we are good to bake. Machiavelli's super interesting. So even in school, you can see shows like Game of Thrones got their inspiration, obviously an intrinsic human trait, but he's the figure you point out for embodying that sort of deviousness. Interesting. I would not have said deviousness specifically, but I don't disagree. You wanna tell me more? Or does anybody, oh, I feel like I'm teaching, I'm sorry. I don't mean to lecture. I do a little bit mean to lecture because it's my channel. And that's what I do in my real life. I think if I could go back to school and get my doctorate and like teach at the graduate level, I would totally do that. Partial to Dr. Evil. Mm. I love a good villain parody, I have to say. Like Evil Genius, the video game. Evil Genius 2 is out and I haven't gotten it yet because of the mixed reviews still. Um, I think it'll get better and it'll be, it'll be fine and I'll buy it on sale or whatever. But I do love a good, a good villain. And when you're talking about um, some iconic ones like Darth Vader, you can talk about, you know, if they're flat around it, that kind of thing. And the whole backstory or the first, the first three of Star Wars, right? tried to give him that backstory from just being this, this very flat, flat-ish character. I mean, he had a few qualities to him, um, but I didn't like where they took him, so meh. Point being, villains can be super, super, super interesting. Anakin was meh. Yeah. Like, Darth Vader as a character is cool. Anakin Skywalker as a character does not appeal to me. And that's just, that's me. That's not anybody's fault. They're still good in John, <laughs> I felt. DVCS also realistic. Yes, John, that's, I think that's where I feel about Machiavelli is, and I haven't read any of the Stoics. I know the idea, but I haven't read any of them specifically, but you understand how people really are. Like, okay, but really, you can rule through love and fear. Okay, but really, you want this to be how authority works or government works or that kind of thing. And you get, you know, Plato and Aristotle and Socrates are all famous for their philosophies, but they're all not functional. They don't work with real people. Communism, cool idea, super great, does not work with real people. So it's pointless. Fun idea, right? Why don't you write a Heinlein novel about it? 
and then it, you know, I say Heinlein specifically because Moon is a harsh mistress, so um, take that as you will. If you haven't read it, do if you want and don't if you don't. Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> Great villain in Star Wars. Daniel, I don't know that one. Is that, I don't know which movie that's in. Hey, you know what I did though is make some biscuits. Let me show them to you before I put them in the oven. Mm. It's supposed to make eight, it made 12. I obviously did something wrong. Everything is fine. And it should take about 15 minutes, yes. 15 minutes. So let's put a timer on and then tidy up. It kills a lot of peeps. What, communism? Government. I'm just being snarky. I'm sorry if you're from the government and you don't like what I'm saying. Uh, part of it is true. Most of it is true. All right, well, the counter got super messy anyway, so we'll clean that up first. Communism, yes. It's mostly in the books in the Rebel Show. Ah, he was not in a movie. That's why I literally have no idea who that is. Okay, perfect. I feel better now. Actually, I feel hungry now, but also better about not knowing. Hello, Eternal Ramen. Happy New Year to you. How are you? Good to see you. John, something Americans do is the closest thing to properly, properly inhibiting that nature was the checks and balances in the Constitution. Yes, forefathers were very clever, built in lots of fail-safes. They did. No system is ever watertight. You can tell they were also well-read and understood human fallibility. I completely agree on that as well. I think that in general, that the people who were positioned to govern a new country of America were very well educated, fairly realistic, um, and it would be lovely to have people like that back in charge again. <laughs> but you get people who don't know anything about history or people. It's very weird. So, best option is a bit of both, same with most things. Yes, Big Dave, I totally agree. I mean, you've got you've to be realistic about what works, and it's not going to be perfect for everybody. I think we're all agreeing there. Ramen, I am doing super great. Thank you. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry, but we're making food, so it's okay. Flat, they studied the governments that failed as well. Yeah, exactly. Eternal Ramen had a New Year's stream. I missed it too. <gasps> Flat spin, I agree. Happy if either side took the document seriously. Yep. Um, yeah, but then there are some constitutionalists here who then argue like, well, the IRS is not in the constitution, so it's not a valid government agency, so I'm not gonna pay taxes. That's not realistic. Like, there has to be some realism there too. Oh, we're talking politics and I have a rule, I'm sorry, but we're talking philosophy mostly, right? And history? <laughs> A lot of their achievements were built on English common law. True, John, and like even in American history, you find reference to the Magna Carta constantly. Those kinds of things filter down. So, everyone missed it because the network is terrible here. Die twice. Oh, Eternal Ramen, I'm so sorry. That sounds super frustrating. Daniel, thank you so much for shouting Ramen out. Very much. It's broken. I will fix it. I promise. The John Adams miniseries on HBO. Well, that sounds interesting. Okay. I'm fixing Chrome, shoutouts, and sound alerts at some point before tomorrow's stream. I have written it down. Okay, I'm gonna be back here for just a sec. You please talk amongst yourselves as usual. I'm just gonna get out the pan for the sausage gravy. Oh, you know I need flour for that too. I guess I'll continue to buy commercial flour for a little bit, but if I can get it down to this like grinding myself the the, the healthy flour, I could probably do a lot with it. Stream is the fireworks you could not see anyway because it was stormy and cloudy. Oh no. All the best intentions. I love it. A stream that, that would have been super great if all the things had worked. I bet it was fine anyway. Really, we're here to hang out, right? That's what streams are. It's like, hey, come on, hang out with me. Big Dave, thank you so much. Your countertop intentionally blurry. No, it does that. <laughs> it has a broken autofocus. I usually turn it off uh, and sometimes it stays off and then Today it did not. But Big Dave, always appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope Irish gets back to you. Um, I will, I'll yell at him in a second to make sure he checks it. 
But I will have this set properly to, it's usually, nah, it's usually there. But yeah, it shouldn't have been blurry because I should have turned the autofocus off. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Big Dave, have a wonderful night, thank you. I'm gonna pop off just for a sec, so I'm gonna use my BRB because that's what it's here for. Okay, I yelled. He knows it's there now. Regarding that, please don't worry about the DM, literally just in case we accidentally sent a person. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I don't, I, I'm having trouble comprehending that because I don't, maybe I'm really hungry and I didn't. But I, if you say don't worry about it, I won't worry about it and we'll all be good. So thank you very much though. Sausage. I'm sure will be told, just don't want to DM. No, absolutely, thank you. And I can't get DMs right now because Chrome on this machine still is broken because I don't even, unless DMs show up, they don't show up in OBS. No, so Big Dave, thank you so much. I will, he and I will get it sorted. I appreciate your effort, even though I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, it's just not clicking right now. Uh, it'll be great, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you for being so conscientious. Okay. Still away from politics is the lens of philosophy history. USA was also the first time a state was founded on the idea of a binding contract between citizens and an idea without centuries-old culture underpinning it. Uh, John, I get the idea of like starting fresh, right? I mean, that definitely has so much appeal to it. Like, okay, well, this was really screwed up. They did this wrong. Let's take the good and then take out the bad and restart it fresh. Like, absolutely. As a, as a philosophy, as a potential history, that's so, so appealing. Um, and if we go to the moon, for instance, maybe there'll be that. It, it feels like it has to go with physical territory. Maybe it doesn't, but right now it feels like it, it might need to. Um, there is a series called Two too Fast the Lightning, to Something the Lightning, by Ada Palmer. It's a four book series. I'm into the second book. I think I'm almost done with the second book, but I put it down to read a bunch of smut and romance and stuff over the holidays, just fluffy stuff. And, uh, but it's, it's all about all the philosophies, um, like literally almost all of them. But it also uh, is in a future where countries don't exist because people belong to these philosophical enclaves and there are basically five of them with property on earth and property has a certain kind of value and people have a certain kind of value and it all adds up in a different way and then there's the utopians who are not on earth some of them are on earth but the majority of them are, are not um, and they run things a different way and it's so interesting to see like if you could take territoriality out of politics or um, family of origin or um, identity, what would that look like? There, it just, it's very interesting. So there's a lot to be explored there. Flour, milk, flour, milk. Sausage, sausage, flour, milk. Okay, I can make that. Ooh, the biscuits are starting to smell really good. I put the flour away again, didn't I? <laughs> Everything is fine. See, if I don't have sound alerts, I'll just have to sing everything. Hopefully it will not drive all of you away. No need to quote what you did, fair enough. Because I was gonna. Okay, how much of a milk? Two cups of milk. It says whole milk and I have half and half, so I am going to put some water in it to water it down to whole milk. Does that sound weird? Everything's fine. It's gonna be great.
Mm, delicious fatness. You can smell the butter in the biscuits. Yummy, let's see how long we have left. Five minutes. John, I love how your streams are like, what if we took the material element out of how we perceived our society and yours are like, is it or is it not okay to eat a banana while it's maintaining eye contact? We can talk about all of those things here. We've talked about some interesting things on your streams too. Although more so when you were doing art and not as much when you're flying because you have to have a different level of focus, I feel like, or you, it, it felt different as a viewer. Maybe it was not perceived that way by you, but I think it's great that we have, um, we can talk about all these things, right? Uh, we did talk about almond milk being juice for like a good, I don't know, 30 minutes one stream. Then we had, um, do lobsters have butts? That was a topic for the uh, beginning of a stream a while back. We're very well rounded is what I'm saying. So all good. Oh good, you can't see my knee. Okay, I'm stretching a lot. And for the, uh, for the second question, only if you mean it. <laughs> we don't have bananas in the house. Otherwise, we could, we would not experiment with bananas on stream. All right, what time is it? Oh, good. Plenty of time. I'm going to make some room over here because this is going to get a little messy. And start cooking up some sausage in the pan. Well, I mean, obviously, where else would I be cooking it, right? So I'm going to make enough sausage gravy for this recipe, but I'm actually making twice, almost twice as much, more than twice as much sausage itself. We're feeding a bunch of people. You feel like cheeks are a mandatory element of a butt. I agree with flat spin and you, John, because this is, I, I was saying uh, that I personally feel like horses for sure have butts. They've got big old round things. Humans, butts. Lobster, no butts, you know? Cloaca, sure. Expelling stuff. Who are the ones, sea slugs, who barf their poop out of their mouth? Like, not a butt. Dogs and cats don't have butts. Um, cats have really skinny butts. My cat, if she were a little noisy cat, she doesn't really have a butt. She got like hip bones and then like legs. She got, she's got a butt hole. Did I show you guys? Did I show you my, can you? Can you see the outline of it? Probably not. This one? Here. There we go. This is the outline. You know what it is. I had to look for a second. My big kiddo gave it to me for Christmas. Hi, Pangman. Thank you, Daniel, for the shout out for Pangman. Sorry my overlay is not working. We'll get it fixed for tomorrow. Flower power wheel. <laughs> one of you is going to come in and say something, but that's better than a uh, that's better than what I expected, honestly. All right, I'm gonna pop the sausage open. This is a cat butt. Cookie cutter. We're totally making those on Thursday. So, just so you know, get ready. All right, sausage. John had a good a good um, emote for today's stream. This looks awful and um, everything is fine. All sticky. <laughs> all the sausage is sticking to the plastic. Hello, Che Dumola, Che Dumola, O six. Hello, how are you? How would you like to be called if I butchered your name? which I think is highly likely, so I apologize. Welcome in. 
I'm turning away from the camera to make some breakfast sausage. Whoop! And throw it on the, uh, the stove for funsies. Because eventually we will be making sausage gravy. Might as well just get my hands in it, you know what I'm saying? It's better to get it all out now. There we go. Big ol' sausage. Ooh. All right, well that's terrible timing because my hands have sausage jack on them, so I've got to wash them super fast, get an oven mitt on, and pull out our biscuits. See if they are as advertised, big and fluffy. Not a single bit, not a bit. This is terrible. This is absolutely the worst recipe yet. They're flat. Look, there's a little bit of like this, but I mean, I put a tablespoon of baking powder in here and they're, they're, they're almost as short as they were when I put them in. It's a garbage. But we'll put sausage gravy on them and sausage and they'll eat them and it'll be fine. We have a sleeping beauty in the room next door. <laughs> John. Everyone drools on the pillow, don't you worry. Can I send kisses to Madre de Carlitos? Hola. I don't know who that is either, but yeah, all the love. Big love. Here, we can watch the milk. <laughs> of course. Is it shake? Is that easy? Is that the right way to address you? I'm going to break up the sausage while we hang out here. That is the most disappointing biscuit though I have ever made. So I use two variables and I cannot therefore eliminate one of them as the cause or the culprit. It could be the cool new flour and it could be the crap recipe. And I don't know yet, but I'll try this one, see how it goes. That is delicious. It's buttery. It has a tiny bit of nuttiness that I don't usually associate with this kind of biscuit, which probably means the wheat bran from the whole wheat berries that we ground up is giving it more dimension. Mm. So John, where a scone tends to be crumbly, these biscuits are more flaky. So a scone is consistently crumbly throughout and an American biscuit is a little bit more layered, not nearly as far as any kind of croissant or anything. Lighter and fluffier, I agree. Well, not these obviously. <laughs> <laughs> These are almost scony, except they're very moist. You can get moist scones too. So, in that, yes. These should have risen a lot more. They should have been like at least an inch tall. I've had my scones rise every time. Ah, red. I did. I didn't even think about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I cannot be trusted when I'm baking to not say it. You know that. That's why we have the mafia. <laughs> Which makes no sense to anybody who doesn't know, obviously. Does anybody have the icon up? Is it from Iris's channel? There is a Moist Mafia emoji out there somewhere.
All right, give me a second. This is a lot to chunk up, so. I did get a potato masher for Christmas as well, but I'm just not, <laughs> not gonna use it for this job, even though I could. If they made a really nice heat proof, completely heat proof, oh, sorry, a cheap, really nice, completely heat proof uh, camera, I would hook one under the microwave here. Not a stove cam. Wireless. Wireless, cheap, heat proof, good res. That's what I need. No audio though. Don't care about audio. Not on this one. So if somebody could just make that for me, that would be great. <laughs> All right, leave that for a sec. Oh, good night, Daniel. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You're here the whole time. I appreciate all of you, but Daniel was here the whole time, along with Red and Flat. You last visited the States 23 years ago, John. Time to come back. Come on. Have you been to Texas? Where did you go actually, John? Where have you been in the US? This is probably where everybody's like, you should be using the wooden spoon. It's the classic, which is true, but also raw meat and wood, um, gross. Cause you can't put wood through the dishwasher without ruining it. So how you clean up all the raw meat stuff? I would like to know. to make a bunch of grease and I haven't seen any yet which means we're gonna be having sausage gravy made with butter which I mean no complaints but come on maybe I'm using the wrong kind of breakfast sausage but this is the kind we have This is a lot of work and I'm tired. <laughs> we'll let it keep cooking for a minute. It's overdue, Texas is on your list. There you go, Chicago, Illinois, and Tennessee. Very nice. I was born in one of those. Uh, and I haven't been to the other two. So, interesting. Did you like Tennessee? I need to go back at some point. But, dude, yeah, if you make it to Texas, you, um, you send us a DM. Well, plan beforehand, so, you know, that'd be cool. Or you just pop on stream one night and be like, hey, come on over. Okay, we're getting some fat in the bottom, thankfully. I'm so mad at my, sc my scones, my, my biscuits that aren't scones either. They're nice and golden, I give them that. It's like, oh, if you cook something, it will turn brown, who knew? Brown food person. If Hammer is still here, I love that he said that. Indiana, what's in Indiana? That's cool, very cool. There are places I haven't, I have not been that many places in the US. I think I probably have more places outside of the US. All right, oof, should we use bowls? I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm just going to, I'm like so tempted to eat another biscuit because I'm still super hungry. Stop. Stop. Robot. 
Hey, Dinner with Mom, how are you? Good to see you. Lovely to see you, in fact. Um, can we shout out Dinner with Mom, even though shout outs aren't working with the clips, please? Because um, Dinner with Mom is awesome. We went after, where did we go? Oh, hippies stream on Sunday, right? Oh, good, I'm glad you're well. Good, we have, we have this waiting. We're making sausage gravy. We made biscuits, but they failed as biscuits. As Joan was saying, they might, they might do better as scones except for texture. So um, they didn't, they didn't rise at all. They have layers, but they did not, they did not poof. And I feel very offended when I put a tablespoon of leavening in, something should happen and it did not. Maybe I need more leavening. Hang on, now I will yell at the robot. Put baking powder on the shopping list. We'll get, we'll get more baking powder. We'll see if that's the problem. Baking, oh, Cheetos. Somebody put Cheetos on the list. That was a good idea. Oh, I was the kid. I came back from Costco and she's like, where are all the chips? And I'm like, there weren't chips on the list. I'm not gonna get something if it's not on the list, unless it's an entire massive box of Saigon cinnamon from Costco, because sometimes you just see something and you need it in your life. Other than that, I'm not gonna get anything off the list. So I didn't get her Cheetos and I should have apparently. Now I know. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows at this point? Okay, I'm gonna start pulling sausage out of the pan onto the really yucky spot I made on my counter. Now, here we go. Taken care of. Uh huh. There we go. It still won't play the clip, but at least the shout outs there. Dinner with mom, you're making pasta with your new toy on Sunday, right? We made flour with my new toy, which is a KitchenAid grain mill. KitchenAid got put away, but uh, so the scones are made with, with real fresh, freshly ground flour. And I don't think that's why they didn't rice because I've had a little bit of leavening trouble recently a little bit not like that much but maybe baking powder's just gone so isn't that neat yes i love that you had such a good time with the pasta it's going to get easier and i think a lot of the advice that was given is accurate i have a pasta roller for the kitchen aid back in there somewhere we just haven't i haven't used it in ages um but it is super fun and so i'm glad you were enjoying that I have a, I met a friend who was like, yeah, I, I bake and I make my own flour. And I was like, wait, how do you do that? And she told me, and then I put all this stuff on my, my list for Christmas and you, get, you, you buy wheat berries and you grind them up. Super, super cool. They do have a better taste than normal uh, flour because you can, you can taste all the like nuttiness of the wheat bran and stuff. So I was enjoying that part of it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. John, you would bas uh, basically went on a road trip from Chicago to Northwestern Indiana to Gatlin Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and all the way back. 1999, when Phantom Menace came out. Oh, how fun. Was it like for fun? It was like a boondoggle or it was like a work thing? I mean, boondoggle can imply work, actually, so. Yeah, it is amazing, Mom. It's so funny to call you Mom, but it's cool because, you know, I know you. <laughs> I know you from, from Twitch. So, all right, I'm going to... I don't know why I'm putting it over here. So you can look at something, I suppose. Because I don't have a, a, a cheap, effective, wireless, heat-proof webcam over here. And my bowls are too small. Family holiday of family friends. Oh, that's awesome, John. That was even better if you can be like with people that you know and can hang out with. Fantastic. Okay, I'm trying to leave as much fat in the pan because I need it for the gravy, but there's not going to be a lot. They're all like, add a little butter if you need to. I'm going to add a lot of butter because I need to. And the kiddos might be here soon. They should be here within the next half hour at the latest. So once I get this all tidied up, not all tidied up, a little tidied up, we'll make the gravy and then I will find where we should go hang out although I will have to raid and run as usual 
All you had for music were a set of a set of cassettes of Alan Jackson left in the car. That's okay. Irish would love Alan Jackson cassettes. That's funny. All right, I need some butter. I need a whisk. A whisk. I can't do it. Whisk. <laughs> There we go. Flour, where's my flour? Never knew how much that muddy water I, um, I think I know one Alan Jackson song, but Irish took me to the rodeo one year to see Alan Jackson, because he was a huge fan, may still be a huge fan, but he listens to everything in his headphones, so I don't know what he's listening to. Um, but I don't love country music at all, but it was good, you know? So I was like, okay, cool. I'm a terrible Texan, I will be the first to admit it. That's gonna need more butter. That's not really a roux, that's not anything. Oh, that's sad, that's sadness. Look. I do know how to make gravy, I swear, but this is probably not, not it. All right, let's add some milk in and see if we can recover it. Just a wee bit at first. Oh, John, I'm sure. Flashbacks, right? Like, oh my gosh. Remember the time. We had a cassette um, in Scotland, and it was called The Patter. And it was a bunch of different people doing, like, talking and singing and stuff about Glasgow. And there is a time in my life where like, if I were ever to hear that song, I would think about all the times we would go driving around in the old Volvo that my parents had and um, listening to that. And then when we were back here, we had a, a tape called We Sing America. You went to Dollywood, oh my gosh, that would be fun. I think it would be really fun, right? Another place I've never been. But we went to, um, we had a, a tape called We Sing America and we would go camping most summers up in the Rockies and we would listen to that incessantly. So if you sing like a patriotic American song, I probably will be able to sing it. At least the first verse. All right, so I threw my milk in. and we'll see if we can get a gravy out of this or not. I did turn it way down because this is my extra hot burner, so. I'm gonna actually leave it for a sec and let it simmer a little bit. You love how music can take you right back. It's so true, right? Like, yep, I was listening to some music that I hadn't listened to. I mean, I had listened to it since high school, but it was mostly a fixture in high school and I was like, oh my God, I feel so emo. <laughs> It does, it takes you right back. Fun stuff. I mean, that's the thing about either music or like smells, which I think goes right with food. Of course, all my favorite smells are food smells, I think. But like when you have something that takes you like so keenly back to a specific time, that's pretty cool. <laughs> when we went camping in the cargo containers, at my uh, grandparents' old land, um, what, last week, we had a, it's called a buddy heater. It's a propane heater that you can use in a tent. You're not supposed to use them in a cargo container. So we left all the windows wide open. Um, it, it, the smell reminds me of both, both my grandparents lived in mobile homes for a long time when I was a kid and when we would go see them. And the propane smell was like, oh wow, that smells like grandma's laundry room in both of the houses. And they were in different states and everything. So. It's that funny, it's like, I do not like the smell of propane, but it makes me think of people I love, so. Smell you, John says smells too. I smelled a floor cleaner the other day, brought a huge amount of childhood memories. The stuff in primary schools, yes, yep. I came into the house um, yesterday from doing, Momo and I go to do a volunteer garden, food garden thing um, on Mondays, and so we came back into the house and it smelled like a swimming pool, and I was like, my house smells amazing, it smells like a swimming pool. Turns out Irish had started 
cleaning the bathrooms while we were gone, which was super awesome. We're all trying to work together to clean the bathroom, so it's not just my job. Um, we were supposed to vacuum today. I got the stairs done and nothing else got done. That's okay. But it was so funny because it was like I walked into my house and I'm like, wait, something great. Like, it smells good. And I couldn't figure out why until he was like, yeah, I cleaned all the toilets. And I was like, I love it. Uh, my mom gave me a box of old stuff, old um, memorabilia, I guess. I had a t-shirt in there. It smells like laundry from my parents' house, and that is not a good thing. It immediately, I get so congested, like my sinuses start to pack up, which now explains why I had so many sinus infections as a kid. So I want to wear this shirt, but I can't. I've washed it four times. I'll keep washing it until I can't smell that smell anymore. But it's those two where it's just kind of like a, not quite a violent reaction, but physical, visceral, not visceral, sinus reaction. And there's this thick, dark paint fence of creosote, which is now banned, has mild carcinogens. When your mom was pregnant with your sister, one of her cravings was standing in the aisle for that in the hardware store. Oh, wow. Yep. I totally get that. Pregnancy stuff is so weird. <laughs> Mom, I bet you have some stories about that, right? You have six kiddos, did I catch that correctly? I, I realized when we rated you that I actually hadn't been in your stream before. I've been in you in streams with you in there and I just hadn't been, hadn't caught you, so. That sister is gay. <laughs> so, it was the paint smell. Oh, that's funny. I hope as long as she thinks it's funny, that's pretty funny. All right, I'm gonna stick the sausage back in and then leave it on the stove and it's thickening lovely. And then when we are ready to eat, which probably will be soon after the kids get here, um, I'll go ahead and reheat that. So I'm just gonna put my sausage in here and put my bowls away. And look sadly at my little, my biscuits that didn't really work. And we'll go find somebody to raid. Six kids in your family too. That's right, John, I forgot. I had forgotten that you were one of six. That is super cool. Eldest brother is 50. Very cool. You're a short order cook for about 25 years. Oh, well that explains a lot, mom. You're just like doing all the things. I'm like, I'm doing one thing. And I have to focus and I get distracted with chat. <laughs> it's, it's anything. Oh, you know what? I can't look on here for somebody to raid because my Chrome is still broken. Here's my list. You can hold me accountable. Don't put it on the flower. The flower is going to go back in the pantry and I'm never going to find it again. Did your parents not have a TV? <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see who is on that's doing something interesting. Hmm. Camel wool. Eat at dad's. I need to listen to, to an ad before seeing what they're up to. Do y'all have a preference? I can't see how long they've been on either, I guess. I do not know what Kimmel is doing, but there's a girl speaking Japanese on there, so. I'm not, I'm not sure. He's been on for over two hours? Okay. Flat spin again, Mercury, that was awesome, wasn't it? I'm like, let's read flat spin. Who doesn't stream? I can't tell how long. Oh. Mom, was that, was that you to dad's or Camel? 
Do y'all know Camel? He he reached out to me on chat and um, DMs, and I hadn't followed. I'm following him now, but it was talking about doing multi streaming. So, I always like to meet a new food and drink. Eat it, Dad's been on for over two hours. He's not doing food and drink, though. You know what? Let's just call it. You know what? You guys can go find somebody else. Y'all are perfectly capable human beings, and I appreciate you being here. I'm just not going to raid out tonight, and we'll pick up tomorrow, and I'll make some oatmeal cookies with new flour that I'm going to grind before stream, so you don't have to stand there and listen to it grind for like 20 minutes. But thank you all for being here, and I appreciate you so much. Um, if you haven't followed me, it's whale, stop it. Flower power. Um, if you haven't followed me and you want to come back, do so. Uh, if you don't, that's totally fine though. I will be here. So, all good. I appreciate you all for any time and energy you've spent in my channel at all, even if you haven't said a single thing to me and I don't even know you're there. It's been a treat, no pun intended, Mercury. That was a good one though. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. And I will see you on stream, on your stream again soon, hopefully. So, for now, good night and take care.